What? Habit. Okay, parts of the polynomial. I'd like you to open to the first two pages. What did you do, Jay? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Okay. When you are working with these, I want you to underline each term. I want you to highlight each coefficient. So let's look through the terms. <clears throat> I'd like to read through this once with everyone listening. The parts of a polynomial that are being added or subtracted are what? Terms. When you're working with polynomials, you will underline each term as we get used to this vocabulary. You will not do it forever. How many terms are in the polynomial is a question you will be answering. Okay, This will make sense when we do an example in a minute. Coefficients. If a term has a variable, the number in front of the variable is the coefficient. If the term has a variable and there's no number in front of it, its coefficient is an invisible one. 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 You will be highlighting each coefficient. Each coefficient takes the sign in front of it. If the coefficient is not written, it's an invisible one. And if there's nothing in front of it, it's also positive. Yeah. Turn to the next few pages. We're looking now at constants and leading term. We had a question earlier about what is a constant? It's a number. It's just a number. If a term has no variables, it is a constant. Plus 3 is a constant. Negative 4 is a constant. 3x is a term where the 3 is the coefficient. Okay? The constant takes a sign in front of it. We will be circling the constant if it exists. What do you think leading term means? It means it will end up being the one in front, but sometimes they're not in order when you get them, and you have to find the leading term. The leading term is the term with the highest exponent. The term with the highest exponent is known as the leading term. We will be labeling the leading term. Last two pages. Leading coefficient. The coefficient of the leading term is known as the leading coefficient. We'll be labeling the leading coefficient. And finally, the degree. If your polynomial only has one variable, the degree of the polynomial is the exponent of the leading term. So let's make this make sense by doing some examples, okay? I would like you to write down this polynomial. 15x to the fourth plus 3x to the fifth minus 2x plus 1. Add any? Do you need to put it on my desk? No. Okay, I want you guys to create like a table on the left side. On, we're going to put number of terms, leading term. Leading coefficient, and the degree. We're going to do this for two different polynomials. The second one is 2x to the second power minus 5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, 
Okay, we're going to underline the terms in our first polynomial. There's one, two, Wait, three. three, and four. four. So down here, we're going to say how many terms there are. There are four. Four. four terms. The leading term is not necessarily the term that's in the front. It's the term with the highest variable. Um, four. I mean, That'd be three x five. This exponent of five is telling us that that's our leading term. Number one. So our leading term is 3x to the fifth. What's the coefficient in that term? Three. 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 And what's the degree of our highest variable? Five. All right. Okay, let's try doing that now with the second polynomial. Question? No. Because of the five, it's bigger than the four. And before we leave this, we would actually rewrite this with the leading term in the front. It's kind of like um, doing a sentence in the right order, a proper sentence versus an incomplete. This is like an incomplete form. We would rewrite this as 3x to the fifth plus 15x to the fourth minus 2x plus 1. What's our constant? We forgot to circle it. Oh, one. There's the constant. Okay. How many terms in this one? Oh, no. Oh, that one. Two. Two. Why did you circle the one? Because it's the constant. Yeah, And I, remember we said we were going to circle the constant when we did this? Yeah. Okay. What's this? What's the constant here? Five. Negative, Negative five. five. Negative five. So we're gonna circle the whole thing. What's our leading term? Two x squared. What's the leading coefficient? Two. And the degree? Two. Mm -hmm. But it's from a different two, right? Yeah. This degree is coming from this exponent. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not here for the next two days. I will be leaving you guys video to complete this table tomorrow. Oh, okay. Where you will be naming polynomials. Not polynomials. That's so cool. Is that so I want you guys to think about this as polynomials having a first and a last name. And we will be filling this out with you guys watching the video tomorrow, you will then practice by trying to complete this table. And on Wednesday, I will leave you a picture of the answer so you know if you were right or not. Okay. okay. I have a feeling Ms. Forsythe is out. No, Mrs. Forsythe is not available this week. Mr. and Mrs. Forsythe have their first grandchild. Did he bring the baby in here yeah. that day? Yeah, we saw it. And their youngest son graduated from college, and so they're having like family time. Mr. Forsythe isn't even here today. Do you know who you talked about? There is no sub right now. Wednesday, the person who subbed me for Mr. Forsythe is here. When I checked this morning, there was nobody who could take any yet. So you might have Miss Solomon. Go, go, go. Yes. Oh, my Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, right now, I'm going to dare you to get one more scavenger hunt piece done before we leave. Oh, yeah, I turned it in. Oh, did you finish? Yeah, I finished. I spent like two minutes after that. Oh, you right now. What? Do you think you work? Do you show you work? Wait, what? Yeah, I showed my work. Yeah, oh, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a cake, right? Do you? What? Do you have a cake? The app?